Welcome to Teaching Day 2023. It's like a vegetable roll. We're thrilled to have you with us today. I just wanted to let you all know, remind you all, that this program is dedicated to the memory of Robert Cohen, a respected scholar, mentor, and beloved colleague and friend whose enduring legacy will continue to inspire. I would like to briefly introduce uh, Professor Amanda Bernal Carlo to say a few words. Can you hear me? He may be gone, but he will be 
with us forever. Please join me for a moment of silence. Blessings and gratitude to all. Thank you. I really wish I knew Robert um, better than just what I've heard. Um, welcome to Reflections of 20 Years of Teaching and Learning Excellence. I have some quotes of Dewey I'd like to say before we get started. Education is not an affair of telling and being told, but an active and constructive process. Education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. Now I'd like to welcome, for welcoming remarks, Dr. Daisy Coco de Filippis, our president. What can I say? So many memories, 20 years, right? So before I read my remarks, I just want to say a couple of words. Coming here, I was just thinking, looking back, you know, and thinking of the beautiful tango for Carlos Gardel, uh, Volver, and Volver, 20 years ago, I was here as your provost when the Center for Teaching and Learning opened. Uh, I was here, and I was here working very closely with Professor Magda Vasilov and so many other colleagues. So I remember Magda today. She was such a beautiful soul. I don't think you could have found a more caring friend and, and colleague and, 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 and professor. So uh, uh, many things came out of that experience, including the, the forming of the honors program and many other things. That, that were done during those six and a half years that I was a poet here. And I'm very proud of that. And I'm very proud of coming back and finding that Touchstone is still being published, that the Ostos Review is still being published, that the Ostos Academic Learning Center is still helping students, that the Center for Teaching and Learning still working hard to really focus on the real business. So it is a pleasure, and I want to say thank you very much to the current directors of the CTL, Professor Cynthia Jones and Mr. Carlos Guevara. Thank you so much for inviting me to break this brief remarks. Uh, it is a teaching day, and there's no teaching without learning. So the title was correct, teaching and also learning. I remember some of the questions that we asked, remember Professor Bernal, that we did a survey of the students when we began, and we thought we were teaching certain things, and then we asked the students, and it turns out that they were quite clear, and that sort of informed so many conversations around teaching and learning that, that helped move us forward. Uh, we are among friends and colleagues. Members of the OSTA family engage in one of the most important and challenging of occasions. And it is good to be here, even if it's briefly, because duty calls and at 3.15, I will run as fast as this old body will permit me to run. So for 20 years now, most of us possess a resource more precious than gold. The Center for Teaching and Learning, it has been and remains a forum, a workshop, a meeting place for faculty across the college spectrum. The crucial role it has played in the academic life of the college is something we'll be examining in the course of the afternoon. And thank you to the speakers. And I apologize that I'll probably just be able to hear a few words of that. So, so I look forward to hearing about it. And if there's a tape, I would love to be able to, to review it. Um, um, Before you begin, 
I, I just want to say a few and maybe sound a little melancholy. Our wonderful postdoc professor, Emeritus Robert Cohen, left us only days ago. An outpouring of grief followed this sad news and stated a commensurate expression of respect, love, and appreciation. I work closely with Robert. In fact, he was an adjunct that was appointed full time while I was the pros. And I see that picture. It's a picture somewhere where he's standing next to someone, and it's exactly his presence, just his presence. You felt like you were next to somebody who was actually an adult, who was caring, who was smart, who actually really has something to say that you want to hear again and again. So as we reaffirm our commitment to the art, craft, and profession of teaching, it is only fitting that today's event was dedicated so beautifully to Dr. Cohen. I can thank you no better way to honor and to build upon his legacy. Mil gracias y bendiciones. To the podium, uh, Dr. Chiang Kui Wang, our Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs. Good afternoon. For many of you who are just like um, you, like me, the hostels, um, who feel like uh, this is like learning a history of hostels, 20 years for the Center of Teaching and Learning. Um, so, uh, I want to say that it's a delight to be here with all of you, and I want to thank the Center of Teaching and Learning, uh, co-led by Professor Cynthia Jones, and also from the English Department, and our uh, Carlos Rivera, uh, yes, right. uh, who also leads the Office of Educational Technology, and the CTL Advisory Council for putting this program together. Now, now here in this beautiful venue, we are offered an opportunity to celebrate the past, present, and future for teaching and learning. So started under the leadership um, of the then provost and vice president of Economic Affairs, and now our president, Dr. Daisy Kogoti the Center of Teaching and Learning, named for longtime uh, educators and advocate professor, Mecca Basila, has a deep and long history of establishing and enriching the culture of faculty development at the college. So prior to the pandemic, and then you know, like, you know, when our world turned upside down, during the pandemic, and now where we are in growth, uh, in the in a teaching and learning environment that is much different than the one that we know before. Our center of teaching and learning has remained an essential component of the on-campus professional development work for our faculty. So our CDL has and continues to nurture the culture of continuous improvement, emphasizing the refinement of instructional, pedagogical approaches, and teaching strategies to improve teaching and learning environments in which students are engaged. So the CDL adapted to provide remote opportunities for professional conversation, activities, research, and scholarship to happen when we couldn't meet in person, to keep in the feeling of community of life. So the Center of Teaching and Learning has continued to make, in, uh, make in progress on its goals, regardless of modality. So those goals including promote teaching excellence, sustain communities of professional practice, foster interdisciplinary collaboration, help faculty adopt the best practices, and then provide opportunities for supportive and instructional conversation. So all of those are trying to enhance faculty's teaching and students' learning to help them become successful at most of us. So I salute Center of Vision and Learning for the past 20 years of services which has been dedicated to faculty and institutional success 
publish CTL, even more years of continued engage and success in our division and across the college. Thank you and enjoy today. I would now like to invite to the podium Cynthia Jones, co-director, Center for Teaching and Learning. CTL's mission, that we want to be a welcoming space for everyone where we can nurture each other and grow and thrive. Thank you everyone for coming. I would now like to invite to the podium uh, Carlos Guevara, Director, Office of Educational Technology, and Co-Director, CTL. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I want to first of all thank our president and our provost for coming and, and offering and welcoming remarks. They made our, our job easier because we said a lot about CTL and the history of what 20 years represent. Uh, a lot has happened and we wanted to capture, you've seen a number of those posters, capture some of those moments uh, of what has happened through these years. And we are very happy to see uh, you coming and joining us to, to celebrate these moments. We hope that this space, as, as Cynthia said, this space for welcoming, for coming together, for building communities and promoting innovation and, and uh, teaching excellence continues to be. We are honored to be part of the of the current leadership of the center and we want to make sure that we welcome everybody to continue having these conversations, to bring in those ideas. A lot of the ideas that are currently happening or have happened in the past have been because of those conversations, because of those spaces that uh, we have been able to cultivate through these years. Uh, we want to also thank um, the uh, Atlantic Grant. We were able to get uh, the support for, for, the, for the food that you are you're enjoying. Thanks for the support for the Mackenzie Grant uh, initiatives. And uh, we want to make sure that then we were able to enjoy. We have a really nice panel uh, and uh, as, as the president said, it's a lot, a, lot, a good moment for us to learn, to see the history, what has come to date, and what is possible in the, in the near future. Welcome again, and let's enjoy the, the program. Thank you all for those very warm statements of welcome. We're all very happy to be here.